Ladies and gentlemen, today I am meeting up with Darren and neighbor Mark because we're gonna do something really, really cool to Darren's car. Install something that will get rid of brake dust forever. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss this one. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the conundrum happens. Which one to take? Do I take the brand new 23 or the 2020? Come on guys, that's an easy, easy answer. I gotta put miles on the 2023, live with it for a little while, and let you guys know what I think. So let's get going. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I am headed over to actually John Brick's house. Uh, he's the gentleman that allowed me to borrow the Hummer. He's allowing us to use his amazing garage and his amazing quick jack lift. Real quick though, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community and you don't want to miss a single one of these types of videos, make sure you guys smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Also, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. You guys are absolutely incredible. All right, so this is uh, neighbor Mark's first time seeing the Mike, new. This is unbelievable. I love the ceramic matrix gray. Thanks, man. Nice choice on the seats, man. That is perfect. Look you at like that. that. That is really nice. Yeah, very nice. That is fantastic. I love the two tone and the red seat belt. That's a great build, Mike. Thank you. That is a great build. Thank you, Mike. I got a question for you on your new car, though. There's something wrong with your exhaust. It's like faded. They're supposed to be chromed. What's going it's on? It's already with this? broke in, man. Yeah, but it turns black when you put uh, oh, actual miles on your okay. car. All right, you you've know. you've never put enough miles on your car to have the black. No, tips. I haven't. I didn't. I didn't realize they faded like that when you <laughs> when you drove it. What <laughs> happens when you actually drive yeah, your car? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as I said, uh, we are here. We are going to be doing some brakes on Darren's amazing 70th anniversary edition. So the pads are made by Carbotech carbon ceramic pads and here are the rotors the rotors are r1 concepts r1 concepts okay and the brake pads are carbotech yeah which we'll talk more in detail about them as we get going what makes them different yeah so what do you guys think of these amazing looking cross drilled and slotted rotors it's called geomet is what they call it i think it's proprietary to them and that's why it has that gray silver look that's a anti-rust, anti-corrosive oh, okay. coating. Once you break them in pretty quick, the actual part, you know, the, the rotor where the pads touch will look like metal. You know, it'll, sure. it'll take that coating off. So. Okay. Well, let's get started here. This is a do-it-yourself video, so hopefully you guys learn a lot and you will try this on your own C8. Yeah, so hey, thanks to our friend John letting us use his garage today. We're gonna use a quick jack, which I think a lot of people have probably seen on other videos that people have done and on the internet, it's really cool. It should be as simple. We're just gonna hit up, gonna go up. Wow. That is neat. There you go, and it locks right in. Look at that. It locked right in there. This is this is neat. Need to get myself one of those. <laughs> I know. Well, you already have one. I know, but this is so much easier. The part about this is nice is it takes the weight off the wheels and the wheels are hanging and you don't have to jack it up again, you know, because when you roll it up on my lift, you got to jack it up while it's on the lift. Right. So this part is makes it so much easier, yeah. That looks like a special bit you have on there. For the drill? Yeah, like it's uh, scratch free. Oh yes, these are, uh, they have a nylon cover. Uh, we'll, we'll link these, that's actually a good point, Mike, in the video. You can buy these on Amazon, this is a 19 millimeter. It's got a nylon thread. They sell a kit. I think there's five or six, and it's all the different um, yep. socket sizes you would need for the Corvettes and GM and any nice. US based car. But Mark, let me let you, I'll get out of your way. You can pull that off real quick. Oh, you're having me do the heavy lift. Well, you got huh? the strong back. Darn it. My goodness. Holy. Sh these, these are the forge light wheels, right? How am yeah. I, they're so light. Well, yeah, they're, Holy uh, they're crap. forged aluminum. Well, let go of that. I, I can't believe <laughs> I'm holding this like here? this. Do curls. This is unbelievable how light those are. Nice. Jose, nice job on the wheels, man. These are incredible. I love the almost chrome look to them, too. Brushed aluminum. <laughs> Brushed aluminum. Isn't that nice? 
I can't believe I'm holding the tire like this. This is amazing. Yeah, All so right, they're, they're probably, I think what we've been told, we need to actually weigh them. Uh, I think they're about 11 pounds lighter than a stock wheel. I mean, yeah. And that's 11 is... pounds lighter than what, what uh, Chevy claims to be their forged wheels. Yeah, really And nice. then they have the factory center caps, which just pop right out. So oh, yeah. you could switch these if you had the Jake Skull ones or any other GM ones, you could put those on there, which is kind of cool. That is really cool, guys. Yeah. All right, guys, let's get started with the front brakes here. We're gonna end up taking the rotor completely off and the caliper to get to the pads. From what we've seen and heard, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, once we get the rotor off, the pad should come right off from the inside, they'll come right out. And I've got Mark here with me to give me confidence. Darren, uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Why are we replacing the brakes? How many miles you got on this thing? About 430. 430 and we're replacing brakes. What are we doing? Holy well, crap. I'll tell you what. <laughs> so. Did it come with bad brakes? No, brakes are great. <laughs> okay. Factory, <laughs> factory Z51 brakes. This is a Z51 car. Okay. The thing that I hate about the car, as we talked about, yeah. is the brake dust. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So I wanted to find a solution and that's where um, I came across the Carbotech brake pads mm -hmm. and they're a high performance pad basically made for street and track. Are they if like a the, ceramic? They're ceramic. Um, they're laser cut. They're not stamped. Uh, super high quality and cuts down on the dust. Cuts down on the dust. They say by about 80% but we'll have to put it to the test and see. Okay. All right, these are the these are the pads. Sir. Carbo Tech Performance Brake Pads. So they're made in the yeah. USA. They're made in um, Ohio. Uh huh. Ah, Ohio. Very good. There now, what's go. the difference between these? I noticed these are well, scalloped here. Yeah. Once we get the the Brembo ones out, we'll be able to look at them and compare. But it is a different type of composite material. Yeah. Like a lot of things, I would shop around, checking out the different brands that are out there, and um, I emailed Carbo Tech just to ask them a couple questions. Yeah. And believe it or not, a day or two later, it was the owner of the company messaged me, said, hey, I'm at a uh, autocross event. I'm going to be out of town for a couple of days, but I'm going to call you on oh, Tuesday. Really? And he did. He called me and we talked for about 20 minutes, uh -huh. uh, mostly about not the brake pads, but okay. had a good conversation <laughs> with him. Yeah. And he explained kind of the differences in these versus the Brembo ones and how they're such more uh, high performance pads. Sure. And yeah. I was sold. So I'm like, all right, I'll take a set. Very good. So first things first, we're going to take this caliper off. We're going to turn the rotor and there's two bolts back here. I think they're what, uh, 21 millimeter? 21 millimeter, yes. We're gonna break those, take those off, take the caliper off and it should be as simple as just the pads coming out. This mm -hmm. car has very few miles on it so they shouldn't be bedded in there very yeah. hard. Yep. Uh, at least that's our hope. Yep. Um, but we're gonna find out. So tell us what you're using there, Darren. Uh, the breaker this bar is a breaker and a 21 bar. millimeter. Breaker bar and a 21 millimeter. Gotta come up here. Let me. It's bad on your back. No, I got it. You got it. Okay. You got muscle guy over here. He does. I'm just worried about his back. Okay. Let me get the top one. We're gonna use uh, Mark's impact driver here in a second. Okay. Those are broke. Since I, since I don't have the muscle that Darren's got. I got this, baby. And we're gonna just take the uh, caliper and just you can hang it. it, or you could just put it on a box. Darren's got a great idea. Just gonna stick it on right. the box. And the reason we're doing this is this way we're not gonna have to bleed the brakes, obviously. Yep. And the box right here makes a great work surface to put the new pads. So on. go ahead. Let's let's see here. Let's see how easily these come out. Oh, see these come right off. See that? Yeah, see that? How they're coming right off. Now, it, it probably normally for the average person, if you've got more miles in your car. You see the pins down in there? So it just slides right in, down off of that pin there. You don't have yeah, to take push that. push down, yeah. Is it up? Is it up? There we go, they're out. Look at that. So we, we go. can compare that's, those. Let's look at the difference between the. Well, I guess the biggest difference, you could argue, is the color. Do but I see, no. Do I see more material? Like the length of the material is long. Like this goes from here to here. It looks like there's just a little bit more material, but it's a good pad. It's just this is yeah, they're Brembo. Yeah, yeah it's just the, the material does. It has a different feel to it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we think once we drive the car if it really does have noticeable stopping power differences. But 
All right. So remember guys, with a low mileage car, that part was easy. If you have quite a bit of miles on your C8, that might be a little harder to get those pads out. And then once you put the new pads in, you're probably gonna have to squeeze those pistons in on the caliper. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take the rotor off since we're here. Okay. So we're using a T30 bit here. Yeah. This isn't that tight. Come right up, there we go. Simple as that. Since we got our rotors off, we're just gonna clean this up again. This is a, almost a brand new vehicle, so really not much to clean, but we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, we're just gonna put a little of the grease on the leading edge of the pad. So I'm just gonna do a little, without getting it on the pad itself. Okay, you good with that? And then there's these retention clips in there. It's really as simple as pushing down you kind of get it seated there, push down, they're on, push, that's it, you're on. And we'll repeat wow. the same with the other, that easy. That is incredible. All right, we're just gonna repeat the same process with the other side, so we're gonna push down, those retention clips, there we go, and that's it, we're on. And Darren, I think you're gonna squeeze that in there, get a little uh, bit more speed. Yeah, let's wait till we get the, the rotor on there, but we may have to compress them. We do have a compressor tool you could use, or I think in our case, just really just squeeze in them. We'll get them where we need them to be. Okay, so before we put the new rotors on, we're just gonna clean them with brake cleaner. Just a quick spray down and wipe. We'll do both sides. As we mentioned earlier, this is that Geomet finish that R1 Concepts puts on all their discs. This will not wear off. This will help protect from corrosion and rust. The actual rotor part, this will wear sure. once we break it in. It'll kind of have a shiny look to it, which will be kind of cool looking. Okay, Mark, let's put on our new rotor. Okay. Still not sure what's wrong with the old rotor. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a T30 bit, right? This yeah. Right and slowly, make sure you're not cross threading then. Yeah, we don't have that, I mean, it's tight enough because the wheel are gonna lock it on yeah. there too. All right, so I'm just gonna compress these in with my hands. I don't even know if that we need to do that, but I think they should come right on. We're gonna find out. Yep. Look at that. We are all awesome. good glove. So Mark, hand me those bolts. Let's do one. A little Loctite on there. So Mark's gonna put a little Loctite. These are the 21 millimeter bolts. Okay, use our socket. Okay. So we're gonna torque it back to its factory specs of 160 pounds. Okay. All right, so we're moving on to the rear. We've done the other side. We've learned a couple lessons. Mm -hmm. To keep it easy, what we're gonna do with both the e-brake and the caliper, we're gonna take the bolts off. We're gonna take the pads out first, and then we're gonna hang them using these bungee cords. That way we don't have to disconnect any of the wires. There's yeah. really, we haven't found any reason why in looking what other people have done. People have done it both ways. Yep. So first step is Mark's gonna- 15 millimeter bolts holding on the emergency brake uh, caliper. Remember, we're not gonna disconnect the wires like some of the websites show. We're just gonna hang it up off to the side, make like Darren said, make it easier, so. And you notice that the emergency brake bolt is not on at all, hard at all. And I got my neat wrench here that you spin the handle and then it backs out the bolt for you. So I'm not going to take it out all the way. I'm going to let Darren hit that top bolt, okay. or at least seat it on the on the bolt. I can do it. Okay. 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 Now we're just going to hang that up there. Okay, that's good. Good. All right, saves you having to take that stupid clip off. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna take these pads out. We're just gonna start with our little tap. Okay. 
It's interesting, they have a little collar on the back end and it's like a snap ring almost. Yeah, it's really that easy. And then we can use, okay. 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 So once we take these pins out, this little spring release. Okay. Now our pads should literally just come right out when they do. Wow. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, these should just slide right in. And we'll push them all the way in yet, just like that. Make our life a little easier. Now it clips through that clip, the pins go through that clip, right? That gold clip. Just got one down there too. Okay. You're just gonna go back on the same way we took them off. There we go. Okay. Okay, you're perfect. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tap it from behind. So I'm gonna seat the seat the pins, right? Get it past that collar. It kind of locks it in. There you go. So there you, go. you right felt in. it, right? You kind of felt it go in. Okay, good. Next is we're actually going to take the caliper off and replace our rotor. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got it. There you go. That's torqued, I think, to 90, right, Darren? Well, they say it's 90, but it sure feels a lot. That looked like about 900 there. <laughs> it was pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and break the bottom one too. Okay, got it. And that's the tougher uh, caliper bolt, bolt to get because you can't turn the wheel, right? Yeah, you this is where it. having some sort of lift, either a quick jack or a four post lift. Yeah. Just to get some leverage, definitely. Instead of laying down, but those bolts are definitely harder on the rear just because of the harder to get to. For it done. So we're gonna take that off. Hang the caliper. Got it. Got it hanging there, just off to the side. Nothing pretty. Just get it away from us while we do the. Okay. Okay. See it. Like a glove. Beautiful. Like a glove. Look at that. Get a Loctite. We'll put a little Loctite on there. What you doing there, Mark? A little Loctite. I don't want Darren's calipers flying off. He's doing 190 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna put the e-brake back on. Real easy. Just got it bungeed here. Get that out. Get rid of that. Drop it right back in. Caliper. Look at that, like a glove. Just there, you there go. <laughs> Look at that, because it just goes right in there, Mike. Look at that. So since we've got the wheels off and we've got the calipers exposed, we're just gonna take advantage of this time, clean this up real good. This is the same way we would do the exterior paint with our alcohol spray. We're gonna clean these up and then we're gonna use our underdog product and we're gonna coat these real quick. And then uh, in the front area, any of that plastic that's underneath, I'll go ahead and coat that real quick. So again, this is the same coating product that we've been using on the cars. Mike used it on his car with the vinyl wrap and then I also used it on the uh, leather side of the car. So we're just gonna condition the pad. Get it pretty good. Ah, it'll be a simple, literally, just that's it. So it's gonna be hard to see. Okay. So we will let that sit for about five, 10 minutes. This will give us enough time to do all the calipers.
All right, Darren, what do you think? I think it looks great. Super happy with how it looks. Hopefully the performance is what we think it is with the uh, Carbotech brakes and the R1 concept rotors. And we'll link up all the part numbers so everyone can see. This is, this is the kind of setup you'd want to do on a street car, not just for track. Right. So. Awesome. Yeah, it looks awesome. And thanks, Mark. Oh. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, it was fun. I'm sure we yeah. could have. It would have taken half the time, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. Give me, a, give me a fist bump there. We had fun. It was a good time. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do a brake pad and rotor install on your C8 Corvette. If you enjoyed this, give it a big thumbs up and uh, leave comments down below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you guys out on the road.